and smart city expand, humans are increasingly invading wild animals' habitat. We will talk about the system that consisted with wild animals in the smart city. Let me show the video first. There, <laughs> there is a man who takes a walk. <laughs> and there is a raccoon that finds food. But she got nothing. The moment they meet, <laughs> unfortunately, the man got seriously hurt. And this situation happened in Uichan, a park of Seoul. Uichan was a peaceful place to rest for people in the city. However, with the appearance of raccoon, a terrible accident began to happen. People who enjoyed the walk were treated by raccoons. They even attacked street cats or dogs on walks. So, why do they attack people? The main reason is that walking trail and habit of raccoons are too close. Raccoons think their home are treated by walking dogs and people. So, they often attack them. With the development of cities, the habitat of raccoons have decreased and more raccoons come out to the trail to find their food. Why is a raccoon's bite dangerous? That is because they may have rabies. The rabies virus can be transmitted through a bite wound from a raccoon's bite. The time for the virus to reach the brain is very long, about 30 days. But it is dangerous because the bite does not hurt making it difficult to notice infection. On average, every year, 20 raccoons were found to be infected. Since 1993, there have been six cases of rabies deaths in Korea, and most of them were infection from raccoons. It's not a very large number, but it's dangerous enough that if you get rabies, your chance of death is 100%. So, any raccoons that can infect people is very dangerous. Then, how can we solve this problem? Most, important, most importantly, we should not kill off the raccoons and harm them. We chose to separate the place to protect the raccoons as well as humans. We came up with the idea of building a barrier in Uichun. It is difficult for raccoons to overcome such a barrier because they have very long bodies and short legs. At that time, transparent glass was to prevent the barrier from damaging the view of Uichan. If the wall is transparent, raccoon may be excited to see people outside and damage it. So, we wanted to use polarizing film to control transparency. The polarizing film is transparent but with just one film, but it looks black when two films turn 90 degrees over it. When the raccoon comes close, the barrier, co the barrier comes down and the polarizing film over it, blocking the raccoon's view. Also, we place the feeder in the raccoon's habitat to solve their feeding problems. It is difficult to manage and bad for the scenery if you put the raccoon food anywhere at once. So, we made the feeder open only when the raccoon come close. There is a mixture of rabies treatment and food in the feeder. <clears throat> Finally, we complete the prototype. Then, let's test it. When we activated, activated the device, the barrier was weak, and it kept falling apart from the device. To make it stronger, we added supports on the marginal side, such as wooden falls to the barrier. In addition, another wooden fur was, was inserted at the ends of the barriers to increase strength. Then, let's test it again. Oh no, we fail again. 
we had another problem. <coughs> While the barrier fell to the ground, it was very aggressive and made a loud noise. Bam! Then, the big noise makes people and wild animals nervous, and high-speed barriers can hurt both of them. To solve this problem, we, used to, we tried to use an item for, for reducing shock and noise. The item is the air cap. Similarly, the use of a shock buffer will reduce the strong impact when installing, installing at the end the actual barrier at Wichons and other parks. We can develop our ideas by using magnetic force when introducing the actual barrier. This is to reduce the speed just before touching the floor so that the, bar the barrier has zero impact from the beginning. Through try and error, we could perfect the prototype more. We heard the news that a rock can attack a walking path in Wichon, and I came up with a countermeasure. The world continues to develop, and so many wild areas have come into contact with human civilization. This has caused the destruction of more wildlife habitats. It is not right to reduce the area of other species due to the increasing area of human civilization. What I think of as a smart city is that humans and other species coexist stately. So we focused on how to coexist with raccoons and reached this conclusion after several successes and failures. And this is the final model that complements all of the previous problems. Thanks to the barrier system for blocking the view using polarized film, raccoons no longer feel the fear of intruders. There is no problem about being attacked by raccoons anymore. Also, raccoons ha don't have to start by providing feed, and the feed includes a medicine for preventing rabies. So, people don't have to be worried about rabies. In the future, we will be able to have a happy life where we can coexist with wild raccoons, even in smartly developing world. Now, this, is, this idea is limited only raccoons, but we can apply the same principles to coexisting with other wild animals. We hope we have inspired you to think creatively to live in harmony with animals and nature. Thank you for listening.